he looks real bad. Welcome back to Tadaima Okaeri. I just redid this thing and now it sounds weird, but I'm not gonna do it again. Anyways, this is wholesome, this is cute. I want this to heal me. I know there are gonna be problems, but there are problems in everybody's life, but this is cute as hell. I want, and I think someone said the character designer was from like Gaku and Babysitters, and that's definitely what I got. And I love Gaku and Babysitters. So uh, yeah, all I expect is cuteness. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you thought of the episode down below in the comments. If you wanna watch free, short, and edited versions, go to TikTok. If you wanna watch full, and edited versions, go to Patreon. Let's begin. Oh. Oh yeah, it was like Christmas last time. Or did Christmas happen yet? They would, I'm pretty sure they would do a scene for Christmas morning. Huh? Oh, is that the guy from the end of the last episode? What do you mean scared? Y'all in a damn park, how are you scared? Friend, okay, that is him. That is him. Wait, does the mom have a face? Or are we only gonna see him? You want him to play with the toddler? How old is he? Oh, Odo is cute. Okay, she does have a face. Oh. Oh, of course, he loved it. Oh. It's over now. If a toddler likes you and they want to play with you, it's hell or high water. You're playing together. Yuku. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, Yukun. Yeah. What? <laughs> you will not drop him. He's holding on to your scarf. If you start to drop him, he's gonna choke you out. Oh! <laughs> yeah. It's probably because of the way that they like met, that like the head bump. For some reason, he was just like, okay, boundary's gone. I like you now. Huh? We'll teach him how to read it. Oh, wow. Y'all actually are playmates. This is actually insane. Your mom, pa the mom pawned the older, th the mom pawned her literal child, her adult child off on you. Wow. Yeah, he is really serious. But I also would kind of be like, don't be sitting around my child. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, you don't have friends. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't he ain't got no friends. That's all you're here hanging out with a toddler. Okay. I mean hanging out with toddlers is fun though. Like, I mean, preschool teachers like they love their jobs. Oh. Okay. 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 Stop calling the to uh, okay. Oh, does he see, does he see some of himself in Yuki? Bruh. I wouldn't want him speaking like that around a toddler because kids soak stuff in. And I feel like, oh my God, the, the Omega Mark. I keep seeing the Omega Mark. Huh? But he missed, he missed the dad all day. Oh. I'm starting to get jealous. <laughs> Imagine once he goes off to school and meets other kids. Oh boy. Yeah, which is why he doesn't have any friends. But also, I guess we're going to explore why that is. And of course, Hikari is going to be a part of like him regaining his um self ooh self esteem ooh there we go whoopsies <laughs> oh yeah i'm pretty sure after what happened in the previous neighborhood or whatever yeah 
he still gets triggered because of what happened last episode. Oh, well, look who it is. Oh. <laughs> I can't cook and I'm by myself. Okay, you're you're a man child. Maybe you should learn how to do that. You should learn how to do that. Yeah. Oh, you're afraid? Oh, he doesn't like... Oh. Koshianman. Oh, that's that, like, character thing. Oh, he smiled. Wow. Kawaii, is he trying to say kawaii? Oh, yeah. Do y'all even know? All right. Wait, is are those his parents? Are those his parents? Is that the mom? It, it looks like her. Oh, it seems like Hikari's an empath. Yeah, he's an empath. Because he can feel it. Yeah, Hikari's an empath because he started feeling just as sad as homeboy. Oh. He's the father of... Okay, that wasn't his... Okay. Okay, so he's a father of a classmate. So the guy isn't even your friend and he's lecturing you. I understand, like, raising kids in the community and stuff like that. But to get someone to come out of their shell, that's not the way to do that. You don't just go up to, like, kids or, like, teens and be like, you're fucking awkward. Come out of your shell. That's the worst way to go about it because they're going to go deeper into the show. Mmm. You literally are his. You wait. You both are each other's first friends. Oh. Oh, this is so wholesome. Oh, you'll regret it later if you don't. Where you find that at? Oh, you do, you glare at him. You do glare at him. Ooh, how I used to be. Ooh. Are we getting flashback episodes or like flashback sections? Oh, a one-way street. Oh. This makes me feel like this is like a continuation of something. Like, they have their own story that we haven't even seen yet. Or, like, they could do, like, volumes of their story. Oh, no, you're sick. Sick. Yeah, you got a cold. You got a fever, you got a cold. To rest and keep an eye out. Oh, <laughs> he doesn't like him. This really does mean that Yuki is special. Yes, they've, yes, yes. Yes, I'm pretty sure he's talked to him about you being over there all the time. Hmm? Yeah, he, he, both of y'all will be the same way. You, of course you give in. Yeah, of course he's spoiling him. Yeah, <laughs> it's part of growth. But he's spoiling him because he can't be at home with them all day, so it's completely understandable. Oh, 
Oh, no, that was so cute. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but they always play together. Eventually, though, it's not. <laughs> he threw that shit at him. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, from Macha. Yeah. He's going to be like, where's Macha? Wait, why can't you? Oh, he's in heat. Of course, it's Omegaverse. Well, I didn't even think we were going to get anything like this. To be honest, I thought Omegaverse is kind of just going to be a backdrop. Huh. Yeah, how does the heat work in this? Like, y'all not just gonna fuck it off? That's what they do in Omegaverse. That's what they do. Oh, his parents aren't around. Oh. Oh, are you estranged? And I mean, they have a kid, so it's not like they can lock themselves up in the bedroom. Oh, well. Well, too late. Oh my God, when they drop him off at preschool, it's going to be so crazy. I already know. You do. You haven't learned how to cook? And making that prepackaged udon is not that hard. Yeah. Follow the shit on the package. It's not hard. It's just udon. Put it in some boiling water. You know, put some fish stock in there. Some fish, not fish sauce, like the, the like the the soup seasoning, whatever. It's so easy to do that. Oh, y'all all need to learn how to cook. Okay, do it all together. Hmm. Nah, you, you should not be going anywhere. You shouldn't be going anywhere. Throw it out. Exactly. Oh, he's going to listen in to everybody. Oh. Yeah, the suyu sauce. The suyu sauce. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, it looks fine, but the, the dark vibes probably mean it's not. Wait, did y'all taste it before you gave it to the baby? Or he probably is just gonna like... <gasps> the noodles are falling apart! He don't care. He don't care. Ooh. Yeah, y'all failed. Y'all failed! Y'all failed! He said, this does not taste like mama's. It's bad. Yeah, I need my... He said, I need my child to come cook for me. Cause this is trash. Okay, yeah, you need to learn how to like beat around the bush. You can't just straight up say that. Damn, he looks bad. Yeah, he looks real bad. They gave him a shot? They gave him a shot for his heat? Oh my god. Ew, this sounds bad. Oh. Yeah, because if you say you're hurting, it's going to make him feel, yeah. Hikari is like an empath, empath. Oh my god. Like, poor baby. Yeah, that didn't work. That didn't work. That baby's an empath. He knows exactly, he can feel what's going on. It is hard, but also, he is a baby. Let him... Also, you need to work on feeling your feelings, too. Don't let, let the baby feel the feelings. You need to feel your feelings. Okay, I guess this counts as teaching him emotional intelligence, also. I, I guess. I guess. Oh. This is adorable. Oh. Now, how long does the heat last? Y'all fed that baby that nasty-ass udon. Like, y'all should have ordered out. Oh, it's good! Oh, so I guess they just overboiled the noodles. Okay. Okay. Oh! 
And they all stayed over. Oh. Oh, this is so wholesome. Oh. Oh. This is so cute. Oh. Ooh, but I want to get into the details of that shot. I mean, I guess the side effects are really bad because the shot works quickly. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. <laughs> You've got a real mouth on you. And that is his husband. Oh, wait, no, there's someone else. Oh, shit. Oh, the dad. We're going full force. We're going full force because, of, of course, the daddy is showing up after they already hinted that, like, he doesn't really talk to his parents. So the daddy definitely want. Has the daddy even met Hikari yet? Like, oh my, like my mind is going crazy. Like, oh my god, uh, the drama. I, this is something that they say usually for the end of this arc, like the seasons. Okay, okay, we doing it. We doing it. First of all, this was adorable. I loved it. Um, uh, they really are like, they really adapted Omega Verse. They like, we are talking about things that are never talked about in other BLs that are not Omegaverse because they just don't matter. But this is like, no, nah, this is Omegaverse. He went into heat. The suppressants aren't working. The pills, he took a shot. This is the first time I've heard of a shot in Omegaverse. But also sometimes I just be like zooming through them because I'm just like, okay, makeup are like, we can get get to the scene, get the scene out the way. Like, just admit you like him. Admit, blah, 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 like, go, let, let's get this out the way. Like, let's come on, let's go, let's go in. But like now, I'm like, damn, that shot and this is okay. But Hikari was super duper highlighted. And I feel like he, the show, Hikari is still in the show for me. That baby is still in the show. Um, but also, I like how uh, the show is highlighting like raising a child because like raising a child is so fucking difficult because you do not know that person and that person doesn't know anything about the world. But Looking in from the outside is like you could say stuff around the child and they could like soak it up And you would never think they would take that one thing But the one thing you don't want them to listen to or hear you say is the one thing that they're gonna be like Oh, this is how this is the world. This is how things act so that so earlier on I'm like y'all need to be more careful about what you're saying around him, but he talks so much He's a little yapper that I feel like they would pick it up very easily, but also it's an anime that I feel like that's probably not something super duper important or it might be a plot line down the line. Anyway, don't let me know. I want to see it myself. That was a great episode. I love that wholesome. He had like Gakuen babysitters down. Like when the serious moments come, the serious moments come. And it's just like, oh, is this all? Okay? Oh. It reminds me when they went to the play park and little boy got, he got, he got lost and the older brother that like treated him crazy. Like, da -da -da. anyways, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you thought of the episode down below. If you want to watch short, unedited reactions, head over to TikTok. If you want to watch full, unedited reactions, head over to Patreon. I will see y'all next week. Bye.